Okay, what's going on with the NRA? Let's talk about it. What's up, Wolverines? This is going to be not a very well edited video because I'm running short on time, but I need to get this information to you. If you don't know who I am, my name is John Crump. I'm an investigative journalist, blah, 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 blah. If you can do me a big favor, like, comment, and subscribe, it would mean the world to me, and that would be great. Okay, so before we talk about the NRA and all that other good stuff, let's talk about what the Violence Against Women Reauthorization Act does with gun rights. It does a few things. First, what it does is adds funding to anti-gun research by the government. Uh, Dr. Miguel Faria exposed the CDC for making predetermined outcomes and then finding evidence to fill in the gaps to get to that while ignoring evidence to the contrary and all their predetermined outcomes were anti-gun. Second, what it does is lets the ATF deputize local law enforcement. If you never heard of a Second Amendment Protection Act or a Second Amendment Protection Order, what that is is states saying that local law enforcement cannot enforce federal gun laws. What the Violence Against Women's Act does is gives the ATF power to say local law enforcement are deputized and they are now agents of the federal government and not local law enforcement so therefore they can enforce federal gun laws basically what it does it takes everything away from the states and gives it to the federal powers the final thing that's in there that's gun control related is the nix denial notification act basically what that does is makes every NICS denial a criminal act. So if you get denied by NICS, you're going to be investigated as a criminal. The problem with this is 90 to 95%, depending on where you look at, say that NICS denials are false positives. 90% comes from things like the FBI. 95% comes from other outside auditing organizations. So, depending on where you look at, the number's high. The number's gonna be high no matter where you look at. So, basically, 90 to 95% of the people that are law-abiding citizens are going to be investigated for a criminal act that they never committed, but they are determined to be possible criminals by a flawed government database. All right, now that we have all that out of the way, let's talk about the NRA. There's been several people saying that the NRA told congressional staff that they were neutral on the bill. And I can confirm that several congressional staff members did say that. And if you watch my other video, I'm talking about it. The NRA was the organization I was talking about. So several congressional staff members did say that. I reached out to the NRA. The NRA did not deny it, but they did not confirm it either. They are going to release a written statement tomorrow, which is Monday, about the whole entire stance and where they stand at. Hopefully that will clear up a lot of information. If the NRA did tell these Senate congressional aides that they were neutral, that means the NRA is either incompetent or anti-gun. If they didn't say it, then these congressional aides are trying to cover up for the senators. There are a lot of senators that should be thrown under the bus, including Cindy Hyde-Smith, who gave me a statement a while ago, which you can find on MLN, I might link it down below, stating that she would never vote for the bill as of the way it stands. I reported that she was going to vote for the bill with the gun control in there. She said, no, that's not true. I would never vote for it with the gun control in there. It turns out that my original assessment and my original sources were true because she voted for it. And she lied to me and she lied to the public. So she needs to be held accountable. Journey earns the same thing. She's the one who negotiated it. She needs to be held accountable too. I also want to address Dan Crenshaw. When the House of Representatives passed the bill, Dan Crenshaw said that 
the anti-gun stuff was going to be removed and GOA, Gun Owners of America, was fundraising off fear mongering. Well, it turns out the gun control was not removed and therefore GOA was not fundraising off fear mongering and you were just trying to cover your ass. All right, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. My name is John Crump. I love you so much. Be ever vigilant. Be ever free. Keep in the fight. I am out of here. Wolverines, motherfuck.